Lynn Fairley. Lynn. Hello. Hello. Hi. Sir Kenneth Branagh, you're my favorite director. Thank you very much. It's Gosh. such an honor to speak with you. Thank you. I love your films, all your work. I appreciate that. I saw both Death on the Nile and I saw Belfast twice. Oh, okay. It's a remarkable film. Thank Congratulations you. on all your awards and all your nominations. Thank you very much. We've Tell had a remarkable ride with it, yeah. Really, you have done. Did you expect that? No, no, you're, you're, you couldn't understand. I mean, I realized when we were trying to finance a little black and white film about the troubles in Northern Ireland that it was a tough sell, and so raising money would be hard, and possibly finding an audience would be hard if they thought that it was only dark or, um, you know, only dealing with the tragic side of that situation. And so uh, that people have been open to the joy in the film, to the ways in which, uh, and it's partly what inspired writing it at this time, finding a way to seek and feel and experience joy or lightness or positivity at a time of great negativity. So I it's think been a this is perfect for our time, especially now. Tell Thank us you. just a little bit about how it was to work with uh, Jude Hill. Jude Hill he distinguished himself out of 300 people, 300 boys from all over Ireland who had um, uh, sent in um, videos. He was the one who listened the best, was most naturally present, had a sense of humor, and seemed to be, from the point of view of his creativity, absorbent like a sponge. So, A lot like you at that age. Well, I was very, I was very creative in the sense of I loved stories. So I guess, I guess it's no surprise that it ended up the way it did. So nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Very Thank kind you. of you. Thank you.